Hello, my floss tube friends. We're back for another Friday floss tube weekly update. I'm Annie, joy filled stitcher, and this is a channel about cross stitch. And apparently, that's something you now need to say. Something new I learned this week. So how has everybody been this week? I hope you've been good. I have had a fantastic week. It is Friday again. It is Friday, February 14th. It's Valentine's Day. So if you don't have a Valentine, I'll be your Valentine. I'll be your Galentine. And I'm coming to you for another Floss 2 Weekly Update. Again, it's Friday again. <laughs> it's exciting. I love it when it's Friday. I get excited to film these for you. So, let's chat a lot, little bit about what's been going on this week. First things first, if you are new here, welcome. And there are quite a significant number of you that are new from last week. I think some of you have found me through the absolutely incredible Cheryl McKinney of Tranquil Stitches. She did a shout out and I literally about passed out. I love her videos so incredibly much, so much. She just has the calmest personality. She's genuine. She has incredible taste in cross stitch. I'm gonna tell you what, if you have not watched her um, Mania Stash Dive videos, they are so good. They are so good. She has this incredible stash cabinet. I'm like, she opens it and I feel like just the, the cross stitch pattern gods and the angels just, ah, every time she opens it. And I'm like, ooh, where's she gonna go to next? What's she gonna uncover? What's gonna be something that I need to add to my wish list? Um, there's short videos. I think she said she had a playlist on her channel. I will, of course, link her below. Any of the floss tubers I mentioned this week, I will link below. I link some each week. I used to link everybody I watched. Well, now that list would be so long that I'd have room in the description box for absolutely nothing else. But anyway, she shouted me out and I was like, what? That's incredible. That's incredible. So go watch her stash dive videos. I enjoy them so very much. Um, and she's picked some really cool stuff to start for media, some really cool things. She hasn't always picked the ones. I actually, I think I mentioned in her comment or a comment to someone else. I think it was a comment on my last video that somebody said that they had come found me through uh, Tranquil Stitches. I said, oh my gosh, I love that series so much. I'm almost like protective of them. I only like watch one and then I like wait a few days. And then I watch another one and I wait a few days. Because I'm going to be so sad when they're over. No, I want more. So that's a pretty cool thing. And I know a few of you have maybe had found me through a post that Misty at Mystic Fabrics did in her group. Um, I She had asked who of you as a floss tuber, share your link. And so I shared my link. And I know some of you um, maybe found Misty and Mystic Fabrics through me. Some of you had said you did. And I know that some of you maybe have found my videos because of that post. So if you are new here, welcome. That was a really long welcome. I am a bit rambly from time to time. If you are returning, if you are one of my faithful floss tube friends, week to week, I love you. I'm happy you're here. One more time with me. And my hair is interesting. I came home from work. Today was a, um, Yesterday was Valentine's parties and stuff at school. I'm sorry, this is way close to me. <laughs> like I feel like I'm like in your face. Um, and so today was a staff development day and parent-teacher conferences. And I just, when I got home, I was like, I want a warm shower. I want to relax for a little bit before I film my video. Um, my mom traditional, my mom and dad traditionally have um, joy-filled little one on Friday nights. That's kind of why I filmed this. 
They have probably since she was about four. This has been a pretty consistent Friday night is grandparent night unless they're out of town. Um, it gives me a little bit of quiet time for myself for whatever it may be. It used to be that I would speak to Mimi on the phone on Friday nights. She, um, there's, there's, I, I chat rather frequently about her. Um, she passed in September of 2018 and I started these videos in May 2019, literally two days after her birthday. So her first birthday in heaven. And I just recently realized that why I, I started these videos on, on a Saturday night and I thought it was going to end up being Saturday nights. Nope. Friday has been my thing since the second video with the exception of extra special editions or things like that. But anywho, she, um, they went and did a little trampoline park thing and she just called and was like, my, cause we FaceTime, my, your hair's really curly and kind of crazy. And I said, why? Yes, yes it is. So it was down and it was, it waves kind of from here down if I, well, so anyway, I'm trying half up, half down. It may be up by the time this is all said and done. Cause my curl is not great right now. Winter, I'm, my hair's really dry, so it does not it does not do as well as um, other times of the year. Oh my gosh, I have rambled for over six and a half minutes. Okay, so let me check my notes because I had some other things I wanted to just briefly chat about. Um, for those of you who were not here last week, this is my golden floss tube. I am calling it my golden floss tube because when I was a kid, it was a really cool thing to have your golden birthday. And your golden birthday was when the date of your birth was the same as your age. So since my birthday is on the 13th, my golden birthday was at 13. Well, this is floss tube number 39, and I am currently 39 years old. I will turn 40 this year in October. Um, yeah, 40, new 30. Um, I saw this meme the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, that's hysterical. It's like, well, if 40 is the new 30 and 50 is the new 40, that's all fine and dandy. But the older I get, the more 9 p.m. is like the new midnight. <laughs> I was like, yes, that's so true. That's so true. I am definitely a morning person and not a night owl. I married someone who's the exact opposite of myself. He is a night owl. He works uh, mid-shift at work, so he works 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, he works for General Motors plant here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And um, so he is a manufacturing warrior. They work so hard out there. He works so hard for our family. I'm so blessed to have him. He's always been in some form of manufacturing. He was in the chemical plants in Pasadena, Texas for a while. I know that one of the other floss tubers I work, I watch, um, Janet Jabber. I love her videos and I love that she also is a fellow GM employee. So part of the GM family. Um, anywho, I don't even know where it's going with that. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I just, choo choo. Um, when you lose your train of thought, you say choo choo. So I just choo chewed. Um, anywho, so I decided that I am going to do, I had thought about this. I was like, I'm going to do a little bit of a share the love, a golden giveaway, so to speak. Uh, and so I have something to share with you this week as a giveaway that will be open for two weeks. I will show it here in just a minute. I realized I don't even have it in my pile of stuff, so I will have to pause and do a second segment. Um, but I figured I'll move a little bit further along. Now, here's the other exciting, exciting thing that happened this week. I hit 1K subscribers! I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. If you had told me last May when I started this amazing journey that, I mean, it's amazing for me, that I would have... 1k of you over 1k of you I would be like <laughs> you're funny but no and now there are and like that's incredible incredible um and I actually hit 1k on my Instagram too like within the same week how incredible is that like I'm gonna keep saying incredible and you're gonna be like Shh, find a new word so I'm gonna find a new word so here's the deal I need a needed a tiny bit more time I have a few things that are in the works on their way to me that I want to share with you. 
as a subscriber celebration, but it's going to be in two weeks. So the one that I'm doing today is my golden, golden floss tube, sharing the love. And then in two weeks when that one closes, I will announce the winner of that one and share the um, subscriber celebration item. So that's in two weeks on February 28th, which is not the last day of February this year. How awesome is that? Yeah. Anywho, um, so yeah, let me grab that and we'll take care of that and then we'll move right on down the road. So hold, please. Alrighty, my darling friends, my darling floss tube friends. So this is actually very crinkly, so I'm going to hold, hold it still for a moment. So a little backstory on this. I am part of the um, Garon, Garon Tote and Bags Bag of the Month Club. And um, I traditionally get, I'm, I started it this year and I'm going to be getting bags each month. And they're the smaller size. Sorry. Spam. Bam. And um, this first month, or no, this is the second month. I got the 12 by 18 size. And I was like, I don't need any more gigantic bags. Because I don't really don't stitch on super huge things. The largest thing I have is on an 8 by 11 Q-snap. And they fit perfectly in their 12 by 13 bags. So I was like, what could I possibly do with this? And I thought, hmm, golden floss tube. Going to do a giveaway of sorts. A share the love. It's on Valentine's Day. I'm going to share it with one of you. So, this is a beautiful Garon tote bags, 12 by 18 bag. This was the February bag of the month. And I am going to be sending it to one of you because I am incredibly in love with these bags and I need all of you to be as well. I need you to support my friends, Gary and Ron. So, you're going to get this bag and you're going to be like, I need them all. And then I'm going to be like, I'm never going to get one again. But that's the whole thing. I want everybody to experience how incredibly amazing these bags are. So, it is still with the bag tag. It is folded beautifully in this crinkly plastic bag. And for two weeks, I'm going to leave this open. If you are interested and being sent this beautiful bag from me, from me to you, I will share the love. I would like for you to comment below. Maybe should have thought about this before I was giving the detail. What your favorite holiday is. It does not have to be Valentine's Day. Comment your favorite holiday. And that way I will know when I go through and I'll probably do random comment picker this time. And if your comment doesn't mention anything about your favorite holiday, then I'll go to the next person. And I always usually will put a clip of me doing it. I don't do it live. Like in here, I'll put a clip in of me doing it um, from the time before. This will be open for two weeks. So I will draw for it sometime during the day on Friday, February the 28th. Do not wait till the last minute to watch my video and put a comment in then there about your favorite holiday. Kind of some standard rules apply. Please do not say giveaway. I will delete your comment. I don't like trolleys. Um, and those, that word tends to bring out the trolleys. Second thing, um, you must be 18 years or older for me to send it to you. I will ship anywhere in the world. So please, international folks, feel free to enter. Although I did have a problem and I finally got Christine, her mandala, sent out with the dinky dies. Uh, for some reason, apparently USPS decided they're not going to allow flat rate. Uh, international was not working for over a week on their website. And I was like, oh, crud. So I ended up like subscribing to stamps long enough to get myself print a label so I could get that to her. I felt terrible. Oh, my gosh, I felt so terrible. And she was like, no, 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 it's no big deal. And I'm like, no, 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 it's a huge deal to me because I want you to have this and I already know it's going to take a while to get to New Zealand. Um, anywho, sorry. International may may participate. 18 or older, do not say giveaway. Open for two weeks. I must be a subscriber, and I will check. Because um, there is a way to do that. I finally figured that out. Um, so, yeah. Tell me your favorite holiday. 
get this beautiful bag and I will not crinkle it anymore in your face. Oh, it's got really pretty, I don't want to open it, but it's got really pretty, um, like black charcoal with this like hearts, with the hearts, but it's like the red and the white hearts. So it's super cute. Some people said like, I thought it was really genius. Some people were like, I'm going to turn it inside out because I like the hearts too. I was like, uh, you're smart. That's pretty awesome. All right. So we've talked about kind of what this week has been. I've been, I'm like way past the 10 minute mark. Talked a little bit about myself, shared about what's coming up with the 1K subscriber celebration in two weeks. Thank you to all of you, again, who are new and or returning. So now let's talk some stitchy kindness. So I had the exciting surprise yesterday, and I'm going to kind of try to cover this up. And I got this envelope, and I'm going to cover that too, in the mail that said Annie and Joy-Filled Little One. I was like, who's this from? So, let me just tell you, this made not only my day, but Little Joy, Joy Little Joy Filled, <laughs> Joy Filled Little One's day. So, I opened this up and I was first like, no way. This is so cute. So, there was a card in here for Joy Filled Little One. And it is, I mean, this, this is, this is what I love about this community. Not that somebody like sent me something. I'm not all about that. But like everything in here is so geared towards either her or I. This is somebody who has felt connected to me in some way and has sent stuff. And what's funny is my kid, who is really not supposed to be watching YouTube, but apparently does with my mom. That's a totally other story. Um, other story. I don't have a problem with her watching YouTube as long as somebody is watching along with her because ads can sometimes be not appropriate for the show she's watching. Anyway, she said, oh, you got fan mail. That's what they call that. And I was like, no, it's stitchy kindness. That is what we call this, stitchy kindness. Anywho. Look at that. It's a unicorn card. Have a magical day. Happy Valentine's Day. So sweet. So this is from Southern Louisiana Stitcher, Miss Kim. We call her Miss Kim now. And Miss Kim also sent us, sent for, sent little, little one, some pencils. She's got a unicorn pencil, a shark pencil, a heart pencil, and a super cute draft pencil, which I might be stealing. She got some pencils. She got a card. She is already, like, she didn't get the whole memo that you don't do, you don't uh, break into your things until you show them. So, um, she's already, she made her a little coloring book, Valentine coloring book. And she's already, she put her name on the front. But, see, she wanted me to show you. She colored this last night. And she colored this flower last night. And then she has two more pictures. She has your sweet and, oh no, excuse me. She started coloring this cute bear. And then one more. I love you. So I thought that was so super sweet. So that was for Joy Filled Little One. Oh, and some stickers. There were some cute like holographic stickers in there for her. And then I got a card that she also did. And I, this is adorable. I'm going to have to turn this like into a floss card or something. Because I love vintage Valentines. I don't know how you knew this, Miss Kim. But look, bringing you Valentine wishes. And look at those precious bluebirds. Actually, in um, my daughter's room at her grandparents' house, she has like a little ceramic bird that looks just, just like this. So cute. And then um, there's a precious, precious note. And it said, just had to send a special friend a wish for love and laughter. I love that. There's a precious, precious note. And then she sent me three beautiful... And I've been like jonesing after these after I watch uh, Jennifer Upton's videos. She always shows her Mo Sale stuff. She sent me Luna, Constantina, and Humpty Dumpty. Look at Humpty Dumpty. Is that not so cute? This is Constantina and this is Luna. So I'm going to have to find a really fun project that when I stitch it, I'm going to think about the, the kindness and generosity that Miss Kim sh showed not only to myself, but again, this just goes back to what I have to say always about this community is it is such a positive and uplifting community. I love being part of it. This is my own little corner of this. I'm going to put it all back in here until she's home tomorrow, which I'm sure she'll want to color some more. She is a coloring fool. Um, I love to color too. Anywho, Miss Kim. Thank you so much. That was so special. That was so special. So special. All right. So 
I'm going to kind of wave my hands and be like, stitchy time. So hopefully if you didn't want to listen to all me rambling, jambling on, now we're on to stitchy time. So here's the story. And that's actually what my playlist is on, on uh, YouTube. When I go through and I look at all my new videos on the daily or every other day or whatever, I add them to my playlist, which is called stitchy time. Anywho, I have two finishes this week. <laughs> two finishes. Go me. Go me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, so, the first one is the first in the Heart and Hand Square Dance series. I had been working on January. I actually finished it in, like, record time. This is in a bag. I sewed it. With some fabric from my stash and I am stitching this in a palette of colors a lot of them are from the conversion that Priscilla of um, stitching with the housewives shares on her blog and so I will link that below because um, I really like giving credit where credit is due now I will say I am using her January conversion I have gone through this is my palette pretty much of colors for at least the first three months um, January, February, March. I have gone through and figured out my Jan my February and my March. Those will be my conversions um, using a similar palette. The reason why I want to give credit for the January is that I used hers like to the T. I am stitching this on an 18 count Mystic Fabrics. It is a one-off um, and I'm super excited to have January complete. And I actually found a cute little galvanized container with the lid, kind of like what um, Priscilla has done for herself and Chelsea. I found it at Home Goods in the kitchen section. It's a co it has coffee written on it, and it's turquoise with a white lid or an off white lid. So I think it's going to be perfect. So here is my January. It is all finished. I love it. It's so cute and tiny. So I'm going to do the little. Um, it's not a flat fold because that. It's not folded, but it's going to be just a little flat finish with the magnet on the back so it will stick to the container. And then they'll all get stored inside. So one of my plans when I talk about plans is I'm going to kind of start on February, I think, this weekend. I consider this one whip. Um, and I would like to maybe get February caught up and even March started. We'll see. That's that's high hopes. High, high hopes on Mary. I like that song, by the way. They played at the skating rink sometimes. All right, I have another finished, and I don't have a picture, but that's okay because it's finished. And this is my letters from Nora, Nora Corbett, the fairy. And this is for Joyfield Little One. So it is a full conversion based on what she picked. It is on an 18 count, beautiful one off opalescent Ada by Mystic Fabrics. So we're going to hear a theme because these are both Mystic Fabrics. I did some of the beadwork here, here, and in her crown. But then all of these that is in the purple etoile was supposed to be beads. Uh-uh. It didn't happen. This is really hard to get a good glimpse of because the opalescent. Also, these were supposed to be large beads. I did Algerian eyelets instead. I have my signature AV20. And this is a etoile. Um, the purple as a toile, the pink on the ends of the um, wings as a toile, the white of the wings is a uh, the etoile blanc, and then I have some petite treasure braid that's the veining of the wings as well as these strands that hold those. So it is finished. It is going to get framed hopefully this weekend. Hopefully. Um, we shall see how this weekend goes. Like last weekend Saturday was just a was a wash. Um, because of the competition. Oh, I forgot. I need to update you on that. So for those of you that don't know, last Saturday um, took Joyfield Little One to her first baton twirling competition. She is a twirler. Um, she is a novice twirler, meaning she has won less than five competitions. She's never done a competition since, until last weekend. And she competes in a basic strut, which is an eight-step march in a square while holding her baton and her head held high. It's very prancy, like this, with high knees and turn. And then, um, let's see, 
She also does a solo, so it is a twirling solo, and she is starting to do some flips and some small tosses. Um, and so, in her stretch, she placed second out of her group of 11. So I was like, what? And so she got a medal that had second place, and it's a pink ribbon. She was floored and over the moon. Her solo did not go as well. The way that it works, though, is you get a rating for your solo, and then you can be judged also. You pay a little bit extra to do a rating performance. So her uh, solo got a t number two rating, which is okay. And then, but by that point, it had been a very long day. She was not, she still is like a brand new eight-year-old. Um... And so it was a very long day. She was tired. We didn't really have a proper lunch. They sold out of the Chick-fil-A in the concession stand before we got down there. Excuse me. It was not organized super well. Um, and actually our coach, who has been doing competitions for a year and actually arranges one of her own in April, she was even like, this is not organized well. So, um, but it gave, it gave us some perspective on needing more appropriate food items like actually like pack sandwiches next time not just rely on little snacky things I think she was tired I think she had had enough of sitting in bleachers I know for sure I had because I literally could barely move the next day from sitting in those terribly uncomfortable high school bleachers but other than that she I was so proud of her whatever place she got whatever anything she got up and did it all by herself I mean that is that is tough that is that is worthy of praise from me and from anybody else um I always played sports and things like that so it was a team effort so to get up there and do it all by yourself in a big old gym in front of a judge and you've never done it before and you just practice in your little classroom at dance studio that's pretty awesome beverage this week again is some um topo chico mineral water or agua mineral. All right, so now that I've broken apart that, two finishes. Now, um, I used V Fairy for part of a task in Enchanted Stitching Challenges. I am part of the Enchanted Stitching Challenges group, linked below. Uh, short disclaimer, um, I say this every week. Links are not up when this video goes up. Usually I do them Saturday morning first thing. So if you're looking for something, hang tight. It'll be below. Um, this one is in a bag that I made. V Fairy was only 216 stitches left to finish it. I really wanted to hit Royal. I asked if I could split it between two projects that both fit the task. They said for sure. So it was the one about being a gift. Well, that's a gift for my daughter. So is this one. This is have it I don't have a cover image for this um this is frosted pumpkin stitcheries animal almanac I had already finished January so I started February I'm going to show you an image and I'm going to ask that you hold tight for just a second because what I have done so far will tell you absolutely nothing about what the pattern looks like because I have done one small corner so this is Remy the Fox. I think that's his name, Remy the Fox. And he is the February release. So he's super cute. He's got a heart bat, uh, shower cap in the bathtub. So all I have done so far was about 39 stitches to finish out that task. So not much. This is on 18 count Mystic Fabrics in Snert, I believe. And there is the briefest of starts on February. January is tucked under here. So, this is part of my plans to get a little bit more into this. But we'll chat plans in a minute. So, that finished out the one about a gift for someone. It's something about having to let it go. And, um, sorry, another spam call. Um, so, I'm letting those go because they're going to be for my daughter. However, they're going to still stay in my house. All right, now, one of the tasks was about something for Olaf's that could be used as Olaf's nose. So I pulled out this project, which I have not had out in a while. This lives in a Kathy pouch. Kathy, one of my faithful viewers since the very beginning. 
Um, I had sent her the, the link to the tutorial from how I made my pouches. And she made two and sent them to me. So I call them lovingly my Kathy pouches. So this is one of them. Oh, that was actually a question somebody asked on a... I saw pop up on my feed from one of my videos long, long, long ago. If I had a tutorial on how I made my bags. I just shared that I had found a video um, about making iPad uh, book sleeves. Book sleeves. So I will look and see if I can find that again and I'll just link it below and I'll keep it in my description box for those of you that are interested in how I make pouches. Uh, Kathy made a beautiful one, shared it with me. This one holds my Blackbird Designs. This is by the Chimney with Care. Um, and this is the three stockings for January. And I managed to find this before they did a reprint uh, at retail price. Um, somebody had seen my In Search Of post and said, hey, this shop has it. It's at retail. I scurried on over to their Facebook, claimed it, and got it sent to me. I am doing a complete color and cotton conversion. This is my palette. It's, I think, like five colors. I'm doing the birthday stockings. Let me see. There's really not. So I am doing this one right here. Um... And this is actually on a piece of 18 count um, Ada. It's a mystery from a grab bag from Color and Cotton back in the day. Um, and I put in over 250 stitches because I got royal on this one. And I have the layer, the icing of the cakes, some of these really cool blah, 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 things, the top of the stocking, and this is the heel of the stocking um, put in. And I said that the candles, the birthday candles, could be a. Um, a nose for Olaf, but I did say it could not be lit. Don't like them. He will melt. So I put in some in that. I haven't had that out in a while, and I forgot how much I enjoyed that little stitch. It's a fun little one. I love stitching on color and cotton. Ada. Okay, so then one of them was about something that reminds you of summer. Um, this lives in a so much to love big bottom bag I believe is what this is called I found this in a random stash unload or stash unloading or whatever post somebody was selling it um I pay I got a steal of a deal knowing how much these cost and this one holds my I don't have an image for this one either I even went through and was making images today or like you know taking screen grabs and printing them so I would have them I didn't realize I still needed this one so this is um my local LNS, the Stitch Niche in Arlington, is doing a stitch along. It's their first ever stitch along. In fact, I think the 20, I don't know when it is, but towards the end of the month, they're, they, they're open on a Sunday. They're not normally open on a Sunday for three hours. And this, this is a pattern they picked. It's by Milady's Needle, Gloria Moore. Um, May health and peace attend your days. And I will get an image by the next time I show this. This is terrible. Um, to try to show it that way. So a really pretty sampler. Um, so far I'm enjoying it. It, it. I chose the 36 count and I chose the DMC um, to stitch with. It has a beautiful palette of colors. So there are the colors. And I got over 250 stitches and finished out the words. This is on 36 count parchment by Weeks Dye Works. And so I have May Health and Peace Attend Your Days. So I have that. And so now I'm excited because I get to start in on some of the motifs. I did start it center. Some people chose to start it top left um, and start with that beautiful border. I chose to start center and get the words out of the way. I don't really enjoy stitching words on most pieces. Some I do, some I don't. All right, and then for the last piece I chose for this week's challenges, it was something about a winter project. So I chose um, to work on Mouse King and Queen by Little, Little Room in the Attic. And this lives in my project bag I made that has one of my finished cross stitches. This is Mary and Bright Sal uh, by Ships Manor. Um, this was stitched on 18 count Ada. I turned it into a envelope closure project bag with fun fabric on the inside. This also has a floss buddy holding my colors for this. It doesn't have any of my blends yet. Yet. Let me show you the cover image real quick. 
Um, so this is a really cute, again, this is by um, Maria Demina is the um, person behind Little Room in the Attic. And so it's that very Russian style, very um, Eastern Europe Russian style with the half stitches and the um, blends and things of that nature. I'm stitching this with a piece of 28 count even weave from Garibaldi's. Um, and the color is lapis. And this was gifted to me from Jennifer Upton. Um, and so I got over 200 stitches, 250 stitches. I had to recalculate because I realized some of the ones I'd marked on my chart were half stitches. So I um, put in some additional into the mouse's skirt, into her ears, into this snowbank where those um, cute little houses will sit. And then I got in the tip of her tail, which is also in pink. Um, and so her, this is gonna blow it out when I get it close, but as you can see, there's half stitches in certain areas um, up here in this snowbank up here. So it'll be interesting to see this continue to come together. I absolutely adore stitching on this piece of fabric. It did just say even weave, but at one point I went and I looked to see if they shared what their base was, and it's Monaco. And so I actually have some just plain white Monaco and some tea dyed Monaco, so I'm interested to find some projects to eventually kit those up on. So that was it for my challenges this week. Now, I did uh, BAM, my Barbara Anna Mondays. Um, I may start calling them my Bad Mondays, my Barbara Anna Design Mondays. Uh, this week I spun... Autumn Keeper. Augusta is, I lovingly call her, Augusta the Autumn Keeper. She is on 40 count by X Designs in Little Bunny. And so I worked a bit on her. I haven't done as much. She takes a little bit more of like my eyes being in the right frame of mind. Although I absolutely adore stitching on this 40 count. It is so good. If you have not tried a piece of X Designs, and you enjoy linen or I have not tried her Ada I would love to order some Ada from her or some even weave I love her linen it's fantastic and her colors are beautiful this is little bunny um and so I finished out the remainder of I did this whole side of her skirt in this color and now I'm going back and doing the striping um of her skirt and so what I've done is since this is just DMC I've tent stitched it all so now I can easily go back and just cross the x's um, I occasionally will do that when I'm doing um, something on DMC where it does not require me to complete a full stitch. Is now this makes it where I can do mindless stitching. I've done all the calculating and where does the next stitch go and all of that. And now I just have to go in and cross them. And so I would like to, before I put this away for next week's choice, uh, I have it plotted to finish this side of the skirt. And also in this color, I think this is... 3371 maybe um, are her sleeves her little poofy sleeves so I'm gonna hopefully get some more into this so yay and in a minute when I talk plans I will spend for my mad Monday Debbie of creatively yours is doing a mad mania no bad mania bad mania Barbara Anna designs mania and so I think I'm gonna call mom my bad all right, so I had a new start today. I'm calling it my Galentine start, and I chose a gal who is um, going is a reproduction sampler, hands across the seat, and it is a charity piece. So I decided that my gal for Valentine's Day is Jane Marshall, 1857. This is beautiful, beautiful. And so I did a color conversion of my own because, you know, that's how I roll. Although I will say, Mrs. Sados has a beautiful collection for this, and she's giving some of it to charity. She's giving a large portion of it to charity. I had some of her colors I pulled. I had some thread pickers I pulled, and I had some dinky dyes from a grab bag that I pulled, because you don't need much of each. And so I pulled this beautiful palette of flosses, silks, silks, and I'm stitching this on a piece of 32 count uh, from Mystic Fabrics that um, I got in a grab bag. It's very similar to Veteris, um, very similar or very similar to the Stitch Your Own Adventure fabrics. Um, and I have a quite a pretty good start, actually. 
I put this behind it so you can see. Again, 32 count linen. So, so far I did a center start, which is right here in the A. And this um, that I'm doing for the Jane Marshall, I will finish this out later. Because um, I feel like it's almost like the signature of the piece. This is in um, Thread Pickers, Turquoise Rainbow Fish. And then this border, which I have to finish the topmost part of this, is in Thread Pickers Razzleberry. Um, Thread Pickers, I, I think the only way to purchase theirs is through their Facebook page. And they do post periodically. Um, and I happened upon them about the time that they had a really huge sale. And what was nice is she lets you um, do pay, pay down on them. So I purchased, I agreed to purchase them back in September, early September. And then I paid down each week or whenever I got a paycheck, I paid some towards it. And then I paid them off in November. And then she shipped them to me. And so that was really nice. I got some yarns in that. And I think I showed my yarns um, in a video at some point. But I got some silks. I picked colorways. And then I did a grab bag and got some really pretty ones. In fact, um, turquoise rainbow fish was in that grab bag. So it's a perfect little piece. So that is all that I stitched on this week. It wasn't as big a stitching week. I mean, I feel like I got still progress in things. Um... But yeah, I've still got the weekend ahead of me before I, you know, kind of adventure on. I will say in terms of plans, um, I would like to get maybe that Autumn Keeper, what I've, already what I've already marked, highlighted in my chart, stitched. And that would feel good because I think that's something around 300 stitches. So that's a fair bit of progress in one week. Um, I would like to get some more in Jane Marshall before I put it away for a little bit. Um... I need to work on my February whip go piece. Um, v Fairy was one of them, so check. Completed it. Now, I had said I wanted to fully finish it, so I want to get that fully finished so I can check it off. And then um, my other one is Grateful and Thankful Chalk by Hands on Design. I, that one I just need to sit down and put some stitches in, so I'm going to try to get that for a task this week, I think, or a challenge this week. I also really need to work on my Linens and Threads Mystery Sampler because I have not even started February. I need to work more on Animal Almanac because I'm bound and determined this year to keep up with my monthly pieces, which are those two. And then I want to start and complete soon, maybe not this week, Square Dance February. So I can start on March. And then I'll probably finish all three of those at the same time and then move on to the next ones. And I think I'm going to do, I was watching Helen D and she made the suggestion. I think it's fantastic. And I think she got the recommendation from Vonna the Twisted Stitcher um, that when you just when you start to finish one and you know what your dimensions are going to be cut all your mat board for the whole series so I'll go through and cut the mat board for the square inner square and the mat board for the outer square I think that's a genius idea so both of you are geniuses all right so let me let me do some spins because we got to pick us a Mad Monday piece a bad Monday piece. I'm going to get it right one of these times. Says the person who <laughs> says Garon tote bags wrong every single time she says it. Alright, so we're running out of options here because I've worked on lots of things. So here is my Barbara Anna Monday wheel. You can see I have a lot of things grayed out. So let's spin. Let's spin and see what we get. I've already worked on strawberry time, so I don't know why it's popped up again. Yeah, no. See, my wheel got wonky at some point. Okay, Liberty Mouse. Liberty Mouse it is. Let me take a screen grab. Liberty Mouse will get worked on this week. Might get finished. It's not very big. All right, Flossmas. I have a lot more options on this. All right, let's see what our Flossmas focus is this week. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Advent candles. It's on really not fun 40 count. You know what? I'm going to work on what I want to work on, and I don't want to work on that this week. It's not pleasant to stitch on. Okay, I'm good with that one. Home for the holidays. That is one by With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais, and it's a cute one. I'm excited about that. Boom. Took a picture of it. I know I broke the rules. 
I should have had to stitch on Advent candle, candle ornaments, but I'm not. Somebody in my last video, when I talked about how I was feeling about the Mrs. Sados and all of that, uh, said to me, you stitch on what you want to stitch on. And Raquel is a stitcher too, and she will understand. So here's the store. Here's a little update on that before I move into the time, the littlest bit of stash ever in the whole world. I've decided that for now, Hoity Toity is going to go on pause in timeout. I don't know what that will look like. I will pull it back out for sure when it gets pulled for WIPGO. And at that point, I will assess officially. So if it gets pulled for March, it will come out in March. If it gets pulled in November, then it gets pulled and then I'll work on it in November or figure it out in November. But for now, it's on pause until at some point. Um, Emerald City South, I think I have figured out a chart that would be perfect for that color pack. So I am considering using those colors for a totally different project. I may have to substitute in a, a couple of colors um, from my Mrs. Sadoff stash, which is exorbitant. Um, but that is kind of how I'm feeling about it. That, but I'm not starting in really much else this whole month. Um, I've got actually a start on Monday, but there's a reason behind it, and I actually have to show. I'll show it here in just a minute because it came as part of stash. Um, and then I have my long dog that I am starting on the 29th with Aaron T. Marty, Martini Stitcher and quite a number of other people. And I'm really excited to see what everybody's going to be stitching on. Um, I also know some other folks are doing um, just a leap day start. So um, for Aaron's Stitch Along, I'm going to do it. There's a bunch of other people. If you're going to either start or work on a long dog. Um, this, the hashtag is hashtag long dog leap day south. Long dog leap day south. Um, Debbie at Creatively Yours is not going to be doing long dog. However, she is starting a leap day project. And I think hers is just leap day south. So those are two options. I think you could easily, if you're doing a long dog, put yours to both hashtags. I know I'm excited to follow both of them and see everybody's projects. So, ba 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 Joy-filled stashy stash. Joy-filled stashy stash. This is my Ray Dunn bucket that I found at Home Goods, and I was like, "Yep, gotta have it." And now it's my stash bucket. So throughout the week, if I get anything fun in the mail or I purchase it otherwise, it goes into my bucket to show. So the first thing that came was I am part of, and I signed up for this club. It's through Crazy Annie's. Um, stitchers, crazy anus, crazy stitchers. They do lots of clubs. The one that I was most interested in belonging to is their Fluff and Doodads Finishing Club. It's every other month. Um, and they send you a pack of Lady Dot Creates items that all coordinate. And this month, and I actually, Cheryl just showed it in her video on the 12th because it came this week and I had already done my video on Friday. It's Peachy Keen. And so it comes with dyed moda fabric cotton moda finishing fabric a button it came with a few more buttons but that one got squirreled away towards the back it came with this is some of my most favorite finishing trim is like a cotton lace comes with chenille some of this like rayon ribbon these little spools are adorable some more buttons some little of these i don't know what kind of safety pins these are actually called but they have the big circle on them and then this really pretty pin. And I got a really pretty pin in the last one too. I have not used any of these, but I think for the price, um, I think it's $14 plus shipping. Fantastic. And to have just some finishing supplies. And you obviously don't have to use all of this on one project. You could use the chenille on a project, this ribbon on a project, the, the cotton trim on a project. The spools could be cute on something I saw. So watching Java Girl stitches and she did the stitchers welcome and she had little spools and this little house set up. It was so cute, but you could totally use these to finish something like in the middle of a bow. I don't know. Wrap them with floss that matched your project. Anywho, I got that. That does not count stitch from stash because it's a club I belong to before the new year started. All right. So this also does not count stitch from stash How because... I purchased it on December the 31st, 
on purpose. This is actually a piece I'm going to start on Monday. I did not intend to have another start this month. However, this is a piece that I need to finish, like not fully finish, but I need to finish before retreat at the beginning of April because um, Wanda, who's in DFW Stitchers and is part of the Stitching Texas Retreat, is offering a flat fold class. Um, so this is the chart they picked. It's Plum Street Samplers Bless Our Land, which is awesome. I don't have many patriotic stitches. Um, somebody, it's Vintage vintage so gal on Instagram showed hers and hers is stitching up really quickly so I am going to start this on Monday I figured President's Day is a good day to start a patriotic type stitch um and I purchased the chart and the fabric um I think I went with the 36 count because it has to be the right count to be the right finishing size they're going to provide us with the finishing materials for the class um and this is there was a note about it because it calls for Wren. Picture this plus Wren. Um, but they substituted in. So this is a 9 by 9 square of 36 count R&R vintage beeswax linen. So they chose they chose to um, put in something different. Which is awesome. So I need to go um, before Monday. I have time this weekend I believe. Go and pull flosses from my collection. Um, I'm going to use... The DMC is going to be the called for DMC, which I think is just the skin tone. Um, and then I have some of the other, I think, fancy flosses, but the ones I don't, I'll just find something in a Victoria motto or that's close. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to start this on Monday. And then the very last thing, which is going to count against Stitch Room Sash, but I don't care because I wanted it because this, yeah, I got it. So, um, Seeking Solace, I have slated to start at the end of this month, that is my long dog, on that 36 count picture this plus sand. However, I kind of thought I'd love to do an Ada. <laughs> long dogs are involved. Um, and for counting sake and things like that, Ada just is more comfortable to me. I like the linens. Um, I'm obviously doing Jane Marshall on linen. I have some other things. I have Autumn Keeper on linen. But for some reason, I was like, oh, I just really kind of want to do this on Ada. And I thought it might look good on Snert. I'm thinking maybe I haven't really pulled it out because this went straight in my bucket. But I contacted Misty with Mystic Fabrics and I said, hey, psst, I know you don't have Snert on your website anymore. Do you happen to have any? Like just hanging around in one of your awesome buckets of things? And she actually had an 18 count Ada of Snert. So I said, sold. Don't know if I'm going to use it. But this is by far like my favorite neutral like ever. So I'm happy to have another piece of it. I have at least like six projects going on it. So that is Joyfield Stashy Stash. That's all I got. And that's what Stitch Room Stash does to my videos. It makes my stash portion like ew instead of whoop. Um... I will say I was doing so good and then I might have bought a pattern from Creative Poppy that's going to come from Stitch from Sass. It's a future start. It's um, Barbara Anna Designs, All Creatures Great and Small. I loved it. I've loved it for a long time. It was on Creative Poppy as a download. Bought it. I might have bought a new, new design of Floss Buddy from Karina at Bags Plus when she posted them on Etsy and I got one that's so and it's going to be for my All Creatures Great and Small. I might have also pre-ordered way back in January, but my, I just got my invoice for it yesterday. The um, Garonne, Garon Totten Bags Spring Quaker Sal Bag. Mind you, um, I'm not doing Spring Quaker, but I love the bag. So it's going to hold my long dog seeking solace. It shipped out yesterday. It sh it'll probably come tomorrow, and I'll show it next week. Um, so basically I'm like super in the red. So I got to finish a lot more stuff. <laughs> I need more stitch from Slash Credit. And mind you, V Fairy is only a $10 finish based on stitch grid or finish grid or whatever. Um, I gave myself three extra dollars for the beads, the metallics, the specialty threads, th specialty flosses, no, specialty stitches and all the back stitch. Oh, and the fractionals. So I only got 13 bucks for that. It really makes puts into perspective like um 
Now, when I finish Linens and Threads February, I count the portion that I finished. I Basically, the way that works is you give her the to you get the total, divide it by the number of installments. This is the same with pages on projects, if you're going to do a page finish type thing. Um, and so, like, I'll get three bucks for that for the February. I think my poor little square dance is only worth two. Um, so, it really does put things in perspective. I'm still doing far, far better. Um, but we've got market coming up. I'm a little nervous about market. Although from what I've seen, I'm going to be pretty reserved. Um, I haven't seen like anything that's kind of to me like HL Moth I had to have. Or Quilting Bee I had to have. Now I will say, is it Tiny Modernist? Oh my gosh. The Unicorn Tapestry? Yeah, that's on my list. Is that Tiny Modernist? I don't remember who it is, but it's in, it's incredible. That's on my list. Um, I am going to go ahead and order the cookbook because I know there's little small charts in it. And I am getting that one through Mystic Fabrics because she has her pre-orders up. She's trying to order as much as she can before. I feel like I need to see more here pretty quick. Like, especially from the Stitch Niche because I'm like kind of holding off because I want to spread my little minuscule amount of resources to multiple places. Um, but Stitch Niche is kind of holding back. They haven't really posted a whole lot yet. Um, and so I'm kind of like, ooh. So yeah. I know they shop a lot in person. I know that Misty prefers to place orders with the companies that she can. That way they're available for her to pick up and take with her. So I think that that's kind of just a, a choice of business practice. I'm pure speculating at this point. P.S., Hello Beautiful is now in my shop. I think I put it up on Monday, Monday or Tuesday. A few people have already purchased it, so thank you for that. My whip cards are also up in my shop. Um, I know the plans I have for you is in my shop. Squirrel Welcome is in my shop. And I have some other ideas mulling about in my head that will hopefully be coming to my shop soon too. So I really think that's about it. I've rambled on. We're probably well over an hour. Those of you that like long videos, you rock. Those of you that don't, I do apologize. I think those are my two and three thumb down each week. I get about consistently between one and three thumbs downs each week. And I think it's from the people that don't like my hour long videos. I'm long winded. I like to ramble. That's me. I'm not going to change. I did a shorter video. I did like a 40 minute video and I got people who were like, your video is too short. And I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stitch from Stash makes it hard to chat about a lot of stuff. So then I feel like I'm just sitting here like talking to you like we're in a counseling session. It is what it is. Alrighty. I'm going to go and have me some dinner. I'm going to finish watching. I'm so excited. So I finished Cheer. I know I said I was going to go. But first, let me chat with you about TV. I finished Cheer. If you have not watched the Cheer series on Netflix, oh my goodness. By the way, Corsicana is about an hour south southeast of here. My mom was actually born in Corsicana, Texas, and I've had many a fruitcake in my life. Um, if you've not watched it, I love Jerry. He's like my most favorite person in the world. I said, I need him out at Carpool Line ramping up our kids with Matt Talk. You got it. You're awesome. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're cool. Look at your smile. You're awesome. Look at your cute uniform today. You're sharp. You're pressed. You're awesome. That's my Matt Talk for you. Your stitches are so straight. Look at them. You're awesome. Get your stitches straight. I'm going to give you Matt Talk. Um. Anyway, so if you have no clue what I'm talking about, you're probably like, she's lost her mind. She's lost her mind. Um. So anyway, I finished that last night and I was like, yay, okay, awesome. I'm really sad about Lexi though. That makes me really sad. Okay, anywho. Um, but Netflix, I turned on and I was like, okay, I absolutely love Jenny Han's books. Um, to all the boys I've loved before. The second one, which is PS I Still Love You. I have not read the third one yet. So I was like over the moon when Netflix made the first movie about Laura Jane and Peter. Mm. And the second one came out this week. So I was so excited because I was like, I know what I'm doing on Friday night. I'm going to order me some sushi 
and I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna watch the first one again. It made me. It makes me sad though, because I'm like, high school was not that awesome for me. I want to go back and get a redo. <laughs> Anywho, my husband gave a sweet little Valentine treat yesterday. Um, I got some flowers and a Ray Dunn uh, box, a heart shaped box that said love. He actually, we saw it at the TJ Maxx maybe on Sunday. And he's like, hey, I got to go to Kroger's and get some things for my lunch. He was gone for a really long time. And so when I got home and I saw the little heart shaped box that had some candy in it, I said, dude, when did you go back to get that? Because you know, if you don't buy Ray Dunn, the minute you see it, it's gone. He said, did you really think it took me that long to shop at Kroger's? And I was like, good point. And then he got little one, um, an M&M tube with the little heart at the top. And she got a card. And then she got um, a little Lego Emmett from the, from the Lego movie with the big heart. So she's already built that. And her card was so cute because it had all these little like cutesy girl things like a smile emoji and a heart and a whatever and, and a rainbow and you know all the little things. And on the inside it said her name and then it said you will always have a valentine and I'm like <laughs> like it's so sweet and then he said um P.S. this card had a unicorn on it I was like you know our kid you know our kid so anyway I thought that was really sweet I got a sweet card as well and um I appreciate those of you who have reached out and said you know that you're praying for my family for our unspoken request Please continue that because we're struggling with a little something right now. But, you know, it's all good. We're still in a positive mind space about it. But any positive vibes, good thoughts, prayer requests, we just, we just, we appreciate them. I appreciate them so much. I appreciate this community so much. And I'm going to continue being me, doing me. And if you're cool with that, come hang out with me in my little corner of the world, little corner of YouTube. And uh, with that, I think I'm going to bid you farewell. I hope you're having a wonderful, love-filled day. If maybe you don't have a Valentine, again, I will be your Galentine. Enjoy some stitching this weekend and the week ahead, and I will see you next Friday. Don't forget to enter the, give the giveaway, the, the share the love that I am doing for the beautiful project bag. And that will be open again for two weeks. Um, I think that's it. So I'm going to bid you farewell for now, friends. And have a good one. Bye.